Iran just shocked the world with its oil exports hitting five-year highs. And here's the kicker, they achieved this despite facing US sanctions. Iran's oil industry has always been a major player in the global market, and even with the economic restrictions, it continues to show its resilience. It's like a game of cat and mouse, with Iran finding clever ways to navigate the sanctions and keep those oil shipments flowing. They're not letting anything hold them back. So how are they doing it? Well, that's what we're here to uncover. Get ready for an intriguing dive into Iran's secret oil flood and how they're ignoring and even defying those sanctions. It's a story that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Revolution. Before we start, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Let's start by understanding the background of the US sanctions imposed on Iran's oil industry. Things took a different turn after the U.S. withdrew from the nuclear deal. The U.S. government decided to apply what they called maximum pressure on Iran, which included re-imposing strict sanctions on its oil sector. These sanctions aimed to limit Iran's oil exports and cripple its economy. And it did have a big impact. Iran's oil exports took a hit, declining drastically. It was a tough blow for the country, as oil sales accounted for a substantial portion of its income. The decline in exports meant a loss of revenue, leading to economic challenges and forcing the Iranian government to cut back on public spending. The ripple effect was felt throughout the country, with widespread discontent and protest arising due to the economic strain. It was tough for Iran, but they didn't give up. They found ways to navigate these challenging times and keep their oil industry afloat. Iran's recent increase in oil production is quite impressive, considering the challenges they face due to sanctions. Iran has surpassed Kuwait and has now become the fourth largest oil supplier in OPEC. It's a significant achievement for a country that has experienced a decline in oil production. Despite the economic restrictions imposed on Iran, they have improved their position and increased their oil output. This shows the resilience and determination of Iran's oil industry. They have found ways to adapt and navigate the obstacles, seeking innovative solutions to keep their oil production going. Iran has a unique and ingenious approach to bypassing sanctions and ensuring their oil exports continue. One of their methods involves using ghost ships, which are vessels that transport Iranian oil discreetly, avoiding detection. These ships operate under the radar, making it difficult for authorities to track and intercept them. Additionally, Iran has resorted to rebranding its oil, labeling it as products from other countries like Iraq or Malaysia. This clever tactic helps disguise the origin of the oil and makes it harder for sanctions to be enforced. Moreover, Iran has established barter arrangements with friendly nations such as China and Russia. Through these arrangements, they exchange their oil for goods like medicine, machinery, and food, bypassing the need for conventional financial transactions that could be subject for sanctions. Now, Iran has a significant stockpile of unsold oil, including both gas condensate and crude oil. This surplus has created an impact on the global energy market. The stockpile comprises around 19 million barrels of gas condensate and approximately 31 million barrels of unsold crude oil. This surplus adds to the existing supply surplus in the market, contributing to the increased volatility in oil prices. As the stockpile remains unsold, it puts pressure on the market as supply outweighs demand. This imbalance can lead to fluctuations in oil prices, with spikes and dips influenced by factors such as geopolitical tensions and concerns over potential supply disruptions. Moreover, Iran has been actively supporting Venezuela's oil production through bilateral agreements. Venezuela has been facing its own set of challenges due to US sanctions. It has also been struggling to maintain and develop its oil industry. Iran has stepped in to provide assistance through investment and collaboration. Iran is involved in expanding oil fields and developing oil terminals in Venezuela as part of these agreements. Additionally, Iran has been supplying technical parts for refineries, further aiding Venezuela in its oil production efforts. 
This partnership between Iran and Venezuela is a testament to their shared resilience in the face of economic restrictions. It also shows their determination to support each other's energy sectors. And by extending support to Venezuela, Iran demonstrates its commitment to fostering international cooperation and strengthening ties with other nations facing similar challenges. Now let's talk about Iran's efforts to diversify its economy away from oil and explore new sectors such as petrochemicals, metals, and agriculture. Iran has recognized the need to reduce its reliance on oil and has been actively working towards developing these alternative sectors. By diversifying its economy, Iran aims to mitigate the impact of sanctions and create a more sustainable and resilient economic foundation. Iran has made significant progress in the petrochemical sector. In fact, several petrochemical complexes are now operating across the country. These facilities produce a wide range of products. This includes plastics, fertilizers, and chemicals with a diverse range of domestic and international applications. Iran seeks to tap into new revenue streams by expanding its petrochemical industry and reducing its dependence on oil exports. The metal sector is another area of focus for Iran's economic diversification strategy. The country possesses significant mineral resources, including iron ore, copper, and aluminum. Iran has been investing in developing its mining and metals industry to increase production and value-added processing. Iran can generate additional revenue and create employment opportunities by expanding its metal exports. Furthermore, Iran recognizes the importance of agriculture in its economic diversification plans. The country has favorable climatic conditions and a long history of agricultural practices. Iran has been investing in modernizing its agricultural infrastructure, promoting advanced farming techniques, and improving irrigation systems. And by increasing agricultural productivity, Iran aims to enhance food security, reduce import dependence, and boost rural economies. While these diversification efforts show promise, it is important to acknowledge Iran's challenges. Sanctions have restricted Iran's access to international markets, technology, and investment, which can hinder the growth of these non-oil sectors. Additionally, transitioning from an oil-dominated economy to a diversified one requires time, investment, and structural reforms. However, Iran's determination to adapt and find alternative sources of economic growth is evident. The country has shown resilience in facing challenges, seeking innovative solutions, and pursuing strategic partnerships with friendly nations. And by focusing on diversification, Iran aims to build a more sustainable and resilient economy that can withstand the pressures of sanctions and global market dynamics. So do you think Iran will continue to defy sanctions and maintain its resilience in the global energy market? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching till the end. Again, make sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell to trigger YouTube's algorithm and see more of our videos on your homepage. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more interesting videos like this.